Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luciano. Today I want to talk with you about the guard of the katana, the Japanese sword. Well, uh, sometimes people compare the katana, the Japanese sword, against medieval long sword from Europe. And very often people say that the tsuba, the round uh, guard of the Japanese sword, is a bad guard because uh, it's not long like the cross guard in a uh, European sword. Today let's see why the round guard is used on the Japanese sword. First uh, aspect of the Japanese sword that makes it more suitable with the round guard is the scabbard of the sword. One thing that's very characteristic of the Japanese sword, either the, the katana, the tachi, nodachi, wakizachi or the tanto is the scabbard is made of wood and it holds the sword. So even if you turn the, the sword upside down like this, you can shake it and the sword doesn't fall from the scabbard. It because the habaki, this piece of the sword, makes pressure against the walls, uh, the inner walls of the suba and it keeps the sword locked inside the, the scabbard. And to take the sword from the, the scabbard, you have to take the sword, take the scabbard and pull them apart. The fact is that having a uh, disc guard like the tsuba, uh, it's suitable for you to place your thumb and push the sword out of the, the scabbard. This will make your sword drawing a fraction of a second faster and it may be the difference between your life or death in an emergency when you need to take the sword out of the scabbard. The second point is that the guard of the sword is not really what uh, protects you against the weapons of your enemy. Uh, first, in war you have armor. And the kote will protect your arm from your hand up to your shoulder and sometimes in the cote you have some iron bars fixed to your cote so it's just like if instead of ha having a cross guard you take the cross guard and put it on your forearm in the case of the civilian daily life samurai that had to arrest criminals and make the security of the province would use kuzari katabira and it will cover the arm of the samurai, sometimes even the hand, uh, protecting him against cuts from uh, knives and short swords. When it comes to duo, and no one has no kind of armor, no kind of chain mail, what protects you from the cuts of your enemy is not the guard of the sword, but the blade. So when the enemy tries to cut you, you place your sword and block his cut. When it comes to this kind of block, uh, the sword of your enemy may slide down your blade and try to hit your, your hand. And in this case, the guard of the sword will protect your hand. And even when you extend your hand like that, the tsuba still protects your hand. So the fact that the tsuba is small and round and like a disc doesn't mean that it doesn't protect your hand. Actually, it protects very well like any other kind of ring sword that sometimes we even find in some European swords. The European swords that already had the cross guard later developed uh, side rings to protect uh, more their hands because when you have a disc around the, the guard, it protects much better than just the cross guard uh, that just protects you here and here and leaves the, the sides open to cuts against your hand. Please share this video with your friends, if you have any question leave it in, in the comments below and if you are not subscribed for my channel, please subscribe. I hope you liked this video and I see you later.